August 26, St. Zephyrinus, Pope. St. Zephyrinus, a native of Rome, succeeded Victor I in the pontificate in the year 198. In the year 202, Septimus Severus, a military despot, raised the fifth and most bloody persecution against the church, which continued for nine years until the death of the emperor in the year 211 until this furious storm ended the holy pastor remained concealed for the sake of his flock supporting and comforting the distressed disciples of christ he suffered by charity and compassion what every confessor underwent the triumphs of the martyrs were indeed his joy but his heart received many deep wounds from the fall of apostates and heretics he saw to his joy, however, the conversion of Natillus, who had become a heretical bishop when he lapsed into the Theodosian heresy. The Theodosians taught that Jesus was a man who became Christ only after his baptism, and not jointly both God and man. God, wishing to bring Natillus back into the church, sent him a solid correction which, opening his eyes, brought him to kneel at the feet of the vicar of Christ wearing a hair shirt with humility and asking pardon for his revolt. Eusebius tells us that this holy pope exerted his zeal so strenuously against the blasphemes of the heretics that they treated him with the utmost contempt to his glory however when they recognized their error and returned to the church they also called him the principal defender of christ's divinity saint zephyrinus governed the church for nineteen years some historians write that he died in the year two seventeen as a martyr under antonius carcala and was buried in his own cemetery on the twenty sixth of august the feast of saint zephyrinus pope and martyr held on august 26th was inserted into the general roman calendar in the 13th century god has always raised up holy pastors zealous to maintain the faith of his church and to watch over the purity of its morals and the sanctity of its discipline we enjoy the greatest advantages of divine grace through their labors and owe to god a tribute of perpetual thanksgiving and immortal praise for the mercies he has accorded his church